We were in Cray Bank in Scotland and the schools in Radnor in Cray Bank. We're just right beside Kabiri Hill. My name is Declan Hill and I'm aged 11 years old. When I first came to Boteco, I thought it was a wee bit strange with tapes over her mouth. I was actually a wee bit scared when I saw Jill with the tape on her mouth. Um, first, when I came in, um, Jill explained what we were going to do. and Along with that, she gave us the sheets with a folder. And so we started with the control pause. Then we went for the steps. My first steps were 19. Um, after that, I, I have allergies and it's really helped with that. I've not had to take the pills that I've had to take. It's really helped with my breathing because I couldn't really breathe, so I've just been having help breathing with this potato. It's been really good. Well, I feel better just when I'm running as well. When I was running, I was a wee bit queasy. Um, so I, I felt that I can run faster as well. Mm. You're going to stick to this? Yeah, I'm going to stick to this a lot. Hi, my name is Stephen Duffy. I'm 11 years old and I'm from Clybank. Um, when I first started with Taco, I didn't know what it was going to result in because it looked pretty strange with the t tape over your mouth and all that, but I've realised now it's helped me a lot and I don't really have to take my inhaler as much. Obviously, it was a bit strange what we were doing with the tape over our mouth, but I actually enjoyed it and in the same way it was helping me a really lot. My name's Rachel, I'm nine and I started with Teco. I didn't know where it was at the start but when I started to do it for a wee while I quite liked it and I know how to take my pulse and stop my blocked nose from happening and it's stopped, it stopped my pains, it stopped my sore stomachs and everything. I used to get blocked noses all the time and now I don't because I've took the take And I know how to do all the exercises now and I practice them at home. home. What's the secret about it unblocking your nose? Um, I'll show you. You take a deep breath in, then out. Hold your breath, pinch your nose out until you feel it working. And then what, what actually happens? You feel that your blocked nose is all gone. And what do you folks think about that? They think it's very interesting and helpful for me. And how do you feel yourself? I feel I feel that it's it's quite better than taking lots of medication. My name's Caitlin and I'm 11 years old. And before I started the TACO I had took a lot of asthma attacks. But now that I'm but and the take I don't really take asthma attacks then. Before you had uh, known anything about your take just explain what was happening to you. Oh, oh just took an asthma attack and got, I caught pneumonia and I was hospitalised. And now that I've done the take I'm not really got that bad asthma now. Well, before I started with TACO, I didn't know that, how to control that, um, but now I do. So what do you do? Well, the best thing is to just sleep, breathe with your nose and not through your mouth. And the steps exercise. Did, were you a mouth breather? Uh -huh. um, Tell me about that. And just when you breathe through your mouth, like, like you just all the dust and that goes to your lungs, and that's just how you take an asthma attack. So when you breathe through your nose, what happens? It filters like everything. That's good. So that's pretty simple, isn't it? Really. Ah. Uh -huh. So if somebody had told you when you were younger to breathe through your nose instead of your mouth, it may have made all the difference. So what would you say to people out there? What would you say to kids or anyone watching this? And just to be through your nose and not your mouth. Why? Because if you breathe through your nose, it's, <laughs> it's just better for you. Hi there, I'm Megan Helen. I'm 10 years old and I'm from Clyde Bank. 
when I first heard about Potato I thought it was really, really weird. So uh, my mum signed the form and I started joining the club. And when Jill introduced what we were going to do, I thought, well, if I could do it, then if Jill could do it, then I could do it. So I started doing it and then a couple of weeks later, it, my breathing started to get better. And um, before I started to join Botaco, um my breathing problems were really bad and I had really blocked noses. When you feel that you can't breathe, explain to me what that really feels like to, for you. It feels really, really bad and just feels like the worst thing in the world. So when you come to do the Utaka and you saw Jill doing it, you thought you could do it. If Jill did it, you could do it. Yeah. That's a good attitude, isn't it, really? Yeah. That is good. So what actually happened then? What made, what, what made it work for you? Um, the steps, the control paws and um, just nodding your head and holding your nose. That really helped for me a lot. So did you have a blocked nose before that? Yeah, I had blocked noses nearly all the time. After you've done the course, and how do you actually feel? I feel really much better, and I feel like I can do anything. I wondered how difficult it really is. Is it really hard to do? Well, not that much, but sometimes it is. So what, what is hard? You know, like, what would be the hard part? The hard part will probably be well, maybe there's not too much hard parts to it. No, there's not that much hard parts. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel Hamilton. My age is eight, and when I went to when I went to the botanical classes, at first I didn't really know what the word meant. But when I went to the classes, Joe taught me all of that stuff and now one, when I wake up at night with a sore throat I do the things that I learnt. What did you learn then about that? Well I learnt steps where you hold your nose and there's a partner behind you It counts your steps and when you stop you have not to open your mouth. Mm. And what does that do, do you think? Um, it just controls your breathing. you play for you? Yeah I play all that. I play that all the time. And how's that going since you've done Butoko? Mm, I score more goals and I, my run's getting better. And what was it like before? Were you, were you able to play? It was just like a car with two flat tyres. So now you're a Ferrari, eh? Mm-hmm. Would that be right? Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Nathan Gallagher and I'm age 11 and um, uh, it was it was one day and I was playing football in my school. Um, I just I, I just started going breathless and I couldn't breathe. And um, I was finding it really hard. I felt like my chest was closing up and I was I just I couldn't breathe. I was worrying. I was I don't know I didn't know what to do because I felt my chest was going to close up and I thought I was going to die. But then I went up and Miss it, it was one of the teachers in the office. Um, it was the first day of Pateco and she said that she would phone my mum and ask her if I could uh, get her permission to go go and do the class. And the first day I went, um, she, Jill taught me lots of things to do with it. Um, she taught me how to do steps. She taught me that it was if I was that it was you were supposed to breathe through your nose, not your mouth. Is that the first time that's ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. that was the first time it happened to me. Mm. So were you a mouth breather? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. like my friend Aidan Murray, he tried it and he says it helps when you're running as well because it, it calms your breathing down and you, you used to get a stitch but you don't get a stitch anymore when you're running because your, your nose calms it down, your breathing when you're running long distances. What would you say the best thing that's happened to you by doing this? Um, uh, knowing that um, just knowing that I don't, I can be through my nose and be fine mm. without worrying about having that chest thing again. And because Jill sorted it all out for me, and I would recommend it to anyone, even if you don't have asthma, even if you do have bad breathing sometimes. Yeah, I would, I would, you would just do what Jill tells you. She's great with it. 
Hi, my name is Melissa Helen. I'm 10 years old. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been um, taking part in the, the Take Hope Believing class. Um, Why? Um, because I, I had breathing problems when I had the cold, um, when I had blocked nose and Joe um, taught us how to breathe with with a, if you have a block nose. My name is Zed Arshad. I, I am 11 years old. I, I attended the Mateco classes because I always used to feel dizzy. I used to, my chest used to get tight. I used to close up. I couldn't breathe properly. Since I've been doing them, the exercises, they've really helped me. It's helped me sleep better. It's helped me run at a great length and speed. Um, some of the exercises, it really helped me, like the steps, control pause, the pulse, that helped me see how, how my pulse was. What's the most important thing you've learned from um, Keep your mouth shut and breathe through your nose. Hi, my name is Nicole Megan. I am 10 years old and when I was younger, um, I had a very bad asthma and I was rushed to hospital and then when I was when I got a bit older it went away and then um, when I and then I had a very bad cough and then um, my my mum says um my mum read um, the letter and she she signed the letter and um, I went to Patico and I tried it out and um, my cough just disappeared. And I'm Abby Fraser, I'm 11 years old. I've had um, asthma since I was about four. Um, since I started Patico classes, I've started to find that I've been getting a bit better. I don't have to use my inhalers as much as what I used to. I, I noticed that you're actually breathing through your nose properly. Tell me about that. Well, I learned that it's better to breathe through your nose than it is in your mouth. When you learnt Buteyko, how did you find out about it? Um, well, we got a letter sent out to let us know that it was going on and my mum thought it was a good idea because I've got asthma. So what did she think about what the results that you experienced? Good. My name is Chelsea and I'm 11 years old. We sent it out a permission slip and my mum thought it was a good idea so she felt it and sent it back into the school. It helps you. Um, helps you breathe more, better. Have you had an asthma attack since you did your take it? No. no. Hi, my name is Kai Smith. I'm nine years old. My school, St. Dean's Primary School, I, c I come from Clay Bank. My favourite friends are Connor Lydon, Daniel Hamilton, John McKenzie, and David Shaw. When I, when I first thought about it, I didn't, I didn't really know one single thing about it, but now it's helped me with my asthma. I only need to take one, one inhaler now, and I used, I used to have. I have to take three, but I feel better now because I know that I, people don't make it fun of me because I've got asthma. And when the first time I, I found out I had asthma, I didn't really know what she, my dad didn't really know or my mum didn't really know what to do about it. And then that, that's when I, went, I started going to school and everybody was making fun of me because I had asthma. And my mum and my dad just said it all them, and then that's when I found out that Joe and more, more of the potato people were, were doing it. Well, I know, pa I know Patrick and John are, are two of my best friends, and I, I know they've got asthma, and 
they were getting made fun of just the same as me and it was always everybody against three of us but now we're okay because because we know about the takeover. I practice every exercise three times a day now. I would say you're a very dedicated young man. But you do it because because it, it works for you, is that right? Yeah. And the first time I done the steps I really liked it, but I, I knew somebody who was cheating on it, but I, I don't want to say it out because I know they will get quite sad. And then I told them, if you, the, more you, the more you just do it the right way, the more you get better, better scores, and that's when the boys started doing it right. Mm. Because really, if you cheat on it and do it wrong, you're only cheating on yourself, aren't you? Really? Yeah. You know, what is the most important thing you reckon about it? I think the most important thing was Jill, because the, that lady's the one that actually went and got all the potato things up and that, and that's helped everybody. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic answer. My name's Jayton Gallagher, I'm 11, 11, Clay Bank. I used to take two inhalers before I started doing the potato. You used to take him in? Two, but now, because I've been doing the potato, eh, I don't need any of my inhalers anymore. I find it better because then I don't have to carry them around my pockets. I wasn't breathing right and because of my asthma and they were just helping me. Mm. Well, when Jill was teaching me like how to keep relaxed breathing and all the other things like the step control pulse, and everything, um, well, because I was doing them, it's, it started helping me breathe more, and then I just don't need my inhalers anymore. Fantastic. And do you, what do your mum and dad think about that? My mum and dad think that's a good success. Do you do the exercises still yourself? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, I do the step more, because I just like moving around. Yeah. In. But when you do the steps, that, that tells you if you feel a bit blue or bad, doesn't it? Is that? Yeah. So just tell me how that works. Well, you take a breath in and a breath out, hold your nose and you walk up and down the line and see how many steps you can take. Mm. And you stop when you can't like go any further. And then you keep your mouth closed and just do relaxed breathing. Mm. So are you going to keep doing this? Yeah. Why? Because if it helped my breathing when I was doing it with Jill, it could keep helping me more, and then it means I might not need to go back onto the inhalers. Hello, my name's Patrick Boyd, and I'm nine. When, when, uh, when, I, when I was sleeping, I used to wake up with sore heads at night and blocked noses, and when I went to be taco, it told me how, Jill told me how to clear my blocked nose, and uh, it worked a lot and I get a better sleep now all of it. I reckon it must have taken weeks for you to unblock your nose, didn't it? No. Well, how long did it take? Say about six days. Really? Just tell me about that. Well, when I was in my bed, when I just woke up with a blocked nose, I couldn't get to sleep for hours and hours. So I had to sit up. And sometimes I had to miss school because of it, and it was really annoying and just daft. So, just tell me how you did it. Uh, I, I put my hand in my nose and I done this, and, it, and when I had to take a breath, when I had to take a breath, it, uh, I had, when I had to take a breath, I would let go and it would be better. Mm. That's fantastic. So now. If you get a blocked nose at night when you're asleep, you just clear your blocked nose? Yeah. And you, get, and you sleep okay? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, I get better sleeps now and then, and sometimes I do it, still wake up with blocked noses, but... Mm, and in days I get it, during the day sometimes when I'm playing football. Mm. Sounds like you're breathing through your nose now. Yeah. I think you're doing a good job. Thank you.
Hi, my name is John McKenzie and I am nine years old. When Before I started Batego, um, I used to have really bad asthma attacks in the winter and um, I couldn't get to sleep until like five o'clock in the morning. And um, I, when I went to school, sometimes I had to miss half of it. And um, I had to just lie down all day when I had the last attack like that. So what's changed? Um, I don't have asthma attacks as much anymore. The last time I had an asthma attack was 2007 and went up. And um, I haven't really had any problems with my breathing since then. Well, how did you find out about Jill and the Buteco? Um, I got a permission slip about it. And what happened there? Um, my mum didn't fill it in, but when all my friends told me about it, I had to go, because I didn't know how to control my asthma and my breathing. What happened? Um, when I went there, I started to learn that um, about how you control your breathing. And um, when I've done the steps, I usually get a high score. When you learn how to control your breathing, what, what does that really mean? Um, it means you don't have as much asthma attacks and you can teach people who didn't go to but, but to go. Practice yourself, do you do it in your own time? Um, home sometimes when I'm about to have an asthma attack, but I've not really had an asthma attack. Hi, my name is Stephanie Rose McFay. I am 11 years old. Um, before I started Boteco, uh, when I run, I've, I've always went out of breath, but when I started Boteco, it's helped me run more faster and get to do things more fast and... What about being out of breath? Um, now, sometimes I run out of breath, but I just do the potato <laughs> exercises. What does that do? Um, it helps me. We take our pills, we do the steps. <laughs> we do more things to help us. And what's, what actually happens when you do that? Um, it, it helps my asthma go away more faster. My name is John Murray. I'm 11. And um, see when the, the potato started, I thought it might well, well help me with my asthma and the first day was so good. What's the most important thing to learn about Buteco? A uh, kosher mouth. Hi, my name is Corey Phelan. I started going to the breathing class and it's helped me a lot. My name's Erin Whitelaw and when I first heard about Buteco I thought I would give it a try to see if it was good and First day I went, I thought it was really good, and the second day I went, I thought it was really good as well. And, and that's our lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Jill McKenzie.